Hey, what's up folks? My name is Goran. Today we're going to talk about do LEDs degrade over time? I have done a lot of testing between two types of LEDs that I own. So I'm going to go over those results as well. I'm just going to talk a little bit about it. What I have going on, I do have my display. And then on the side of the display, I do have two frag tanks, which are both going to the same sump. So all those three tanks are fully connected. But one of those frag tanks have been set up for quite longer than I had my other one. But actually when I was purchasing the lighting for both of those frag tanks, I purchased them right away. And I had both of those lights just sitting in my closet waiting for me to set up the other tank. Since those two tanks that I have actually just stopped producing them. So we're just searching to find exactly the same tank so I can put on the other side. So sometime passed and I managed to find exactly the same tank in between those two periods. When I set up my older tank and when I set up my newer frag tank, it was around 20 months difference. And then a newer tank, when I was setting up the lighting, I set up those lights exactly in the same lighting schedule. And I noticed after a month or two that the algae will grow in that tank way more. And I noticed some micropores start to get a little bit more whiter. They were not getting pale or bleach or nothing like that, but I've seen a little difference in color than what I'm supposed to see in them because all those coals I brought from the other frag tank and I put on this tank and just spread them out because the other frag tank was loaded the acropores. And now I'm seeing just a little bit more white over colors. So I just wanted to check if the par values are the same between both tanks and that's exactly what I did. So what I did, I checked my older frag tank. I checked my XR15 Gen 5 Blue on 100% with all colors ramp up all the way to 100%. And then I've done the same thing on my other tank and I turned off my rebrite since I have both of those tanks. I have rebrites connected to those XR15s. And uh, you guys won't believe the results. There was no difference. There was zero difference nothing. I was actually very surprised with that. I'm going to make sure to post the results here on the screen just so I can have a reference point in the future. If in these 20 months period with the handheld par meter, I haven't seen anything. Zero difference. And I know this for sure since I've heard some of the LED lighting manufacturers that LEDs do degrade. I just wanted to check how fast it happens and it definitely they don't degrade as fast as some of the T5s do, some of the metal halos do. So those are actually great news. When I was testing I was actually expecting some of those results to be like 5 to 10 percent difference but they were actually exactly the same. And as I said, I use the handheld par meter, so it's not actually perfect. As soon as you move that par meter a little bit left or right, you're gonna have different readings. But I took my time and I make sure that they're kinda there where they should be, and I actually haven't seen no difference. I did the same thing with my Rebrite since I had those Rebrites and actually Rebrites and installed on those XR15s a little bit later. So between both of my Rebrites, it was actually 16 months difference and I did the same. I turned off my XR15s on both of my tanks and I tested just Rebrites on both of my tanks and it happened the same as on my first test. I've seen no difference. Again, I'm going to make sure to post those results that I got from Rebrites as well just so I can follow up and check on them a few years after. And I have heard this in the past from other reefers that had few tanks connected and sometimes they'll get dinos in one tank and not get dinos on the other and that was actually very weird when I heard so I was like that, that really exists and after me doing this test I'm sure that that can happen since I've seen a big difference between algae growth and how corals are reacting on different tanks under the same par, same flow, same chemistry, same water. So basically just the glass box, just the tank is what's different between those two tanks and I can see the difference. I can tell you guys right off the bat the corals are doing better in the glass box that's just been in the system for a little longer compared to the glass box that it's newer. It hasn't really figured out all the bacteria and all. And as I said, all those acroporas I moved from my older tank to my newer tank and I brought everything into newer tank with frag plugs and frag discs. So I had brought over not just frags and uh, some of my bigger colonies. I brought over some of the media as well. We had bacteria on it. But again, that tank is a little bit falling behind compared to another tank. So even though I haven't really gotten difference in my first test that I've done, I've seen a difference for sure. So if you're planning just to upgrade your tank and bring everything over to your new tank, make sure to take your time. Corals need some time to adjust. All the biology needs 
need some time to figure out the new glass box for sure. And just keep that in mind. I just wanted to bring over this experience to YouTube. Just take your time, be patient. There's obviously something happening that we don't really understand yet. Know that this can happen to you as well. Hopefully this video helps. If you guys made it so far, feel free to like the video, subscribe of course. And if you guys are shipping corals or if you guys plan to ship corals in the future, make sure to check out my shipping experience in the video, which I'm gonna link right here with all that out of the way. See you guys in the next video. Peace.